guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amy. It's so nice to meet you and welcome to my channel. If you're an existing subscriber, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the makeup look that I'm going for for the Niall Horan concert that I'm going to on November 3rd. I'm so excited. I saw Harry Styles uh, at Radio City on September 28th and that Get Ready With Me and that vlog will be right down below so you can go watch that. Um, just like the Harry concert, I'm going to have a Niall get ready with me, I'm going to have a Niall vlog, and I'm going to have a Niall reaction. And I'm so excited to film those videos, and I'm so excited to see Niall in concert. Harry's my number one, but Niall is a close second in my One Direction love. Let's get right into the video. So for this look, basically like if you saw my Harry Styles get ready with me, I'm going for a low effort but still looking good kind of look. I'm going to be using the Maybelline New York Baby Skin Primer. It looks like this. And I like this primer. It's a cheaper version of the Benefit Born This Way. Um, Benefit Born This Way. Benefit Professional. Amy, come on. I'll put this all over my face. Foundation for this round is going to be L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup in the shade neutral. I like this foundation. Um, my power's <laughs> My power's flickering. I like this makeup for a lightweight um, foundation. Um, I also like my Too Faced Born this way, but for this video I'm going to be using different brands because I don't want to bore you with the same get ready with me video as the Harry video. <laughs> And I'm using my viewfinder to do this, so this is so professional. <laughs> okay, that's good enough for me. In the Harry Styles video, I used my Tarte concealer. But this time, I'm going to be using my new NYX Wonder Stick. It's not really a concealer, it's more of a highlight, but we can use it as a concealer. I already broke the freaking tip from putting on the cap too tight. What's wrong with me? A little bit under the eyes. Just to see. If that doesn't work, we'll use concealer. That didn't work as I wanted it to. So we're gonna go in with concealer. Um, to use something different, I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. Um, this is just a light concealer. It's really not full coverage. But again, if you're going for like that low maintenance look, then I would use something cheap like this. Like I just got this to use every day. I don't use my Tarte Shape Tape every day. I use it for like real deal makeup looks. Um, some days I don't even use concealer. Some days I just do foundation underneath my eyes and it's pretty good. It doesn't really like wash away the circles, but does a pretty good job. Yeah, so like, I'm not going too fancy for this look. For, okay, if you're a Harry Styles fan slash Niall Horan fan, you know that Harry is way more fancy than Niall. So for the Harry concert, I was ready to go all out. Like, use my nicest makeup, use my nicest, like, jeans, my most expensive boots, like, things like that. But for... I'm also going to put this on my nose, but for the Nile concert, I'm, I'll am i show you my outfit later. Um, I'm going for way more casual because I feel like his album is just more casual. Like Harry is just so fabulous and I'm not, I'm, tell, I'm not telling you what you're supposed to be doing. So I'm going to use my NYX Wonder Stick and I'm going to highlight my forehead and my chin. Um, but like I was saying, I just feel like Harry's image... is just so much more out there like he is just extra and Niall's not really that extra so I'm not looking to go extra for this concert I'm looking to go casual but still look good obviously something else new is I'm going to use the NYX wonder stick there's another side there's a highlighter and then there's a bronzer now I haven't really done this much so if it looks bad that's probably why I haven't done it much but I don't know. I've heard people say they prefer liquid contour 
or like crayons or something like that, but I usually prefer powder, but let's see how this goes. That's scary. That's really scary. On this side of my nose, on this side of my nose, do I look crazy yet? Here, and here. This is creepy looking. Let's blend it out, shall we? Oh my god, this is scary. I've never like done liquid contour before. I tried to stick out like when I bought it but I didn't really get like a good test because I kind of just like wiped it away because I was like, oh, this is so scary looking. Good enough. I don't think it looks any different from my normal face, but we tried. Next, I'm gonna go in the setting powder. And if you watched my Harry Styles video, this exploded last time. So let's see how this goes. I just shake a little bit of my e.l.f. Um, oh, setting powder. Oh God, I'm gonna sneeze. <sighs> Uh, I just shake a little bit of the powder into the cap because it actually says pour powder here. So for once in my life, I follow directions. And I just put it underneath my eyes where I concealed. Be careful not to get this powder in your eyes because it sucks to get out. Let's see, I concealed my chin. I concealed by my nose. And bada bing, that's pretty much it. I did bronzer. I did highlight. Eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this palette that I got from Marshalls. Marshalls. It's called Mac Studio, and it's a full palette. It's the Eye Essentials, perfect for every look, complete palette. And it like shows you inside like the different kind of eyes that you can do, and all the shades are numbered. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go for the natural look. And any brush. So two all over, five in the crease, and three over in the corner. Get it? Okay, there we go. So two all over the lid. These shades aren't very thick, if that's the word. There you go, that's pretty good. So two and then five. Oh God, this is dark. And then three up here by like the brow bone. Ooh, three's like a sparkle, sparkle, shimmer, shimmer. Now, I don't know what any of this looks like because I'm going off of the viewfinder, so we're just gonna pray for the best. Oh, that's in. Okay, that's out. Okay. I think they look pretty good. Um, I'm just gonna go in and blend it with the same brush because it has all three colors on it anyway. And I'm not gonna do like a serious amount of eyeliner for this because A, that takes a lot of time, and B, I'm not good at top line eyeliner. I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline New York Define a Line Eyeliner. It's called Brownish Black. That's all I know. You know, on the inside of my waterline, call me crazy, I know. And I wear contacts too, so this is like super dangerous. I know, it's kind of gross. I like roll my eye back into my head. Don't, don't be grossed out. Say subscribe to my channel, don't be grossed out. Oh, I rotated my contact there, that's so gross. And I usually do like a little bit on the bottom of my waterline. Taking a risk here, not really looking. I'm gonna poke myself in the eye. Yep, I just did. All right, mascara time. I'm gonna go in with the classic Maybelline Grey Lash. This is like classic. Everyone uses this mascara at least once in their life. This is like my everyday mascara because it's like nothing special. You can like spruce it up if you want, but you don't have to. Maybelline's not pressuring you to do anything you don't want to. My fancier days, I use the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom. But no, today I'm sticking to my great lash. 
as you've noticed, I don't do my brows because I'm blessed and I have really nice brows. I do have brow gel from Ulta or brow tint, but I really don't feel like I need it. Oh, then I'm gonna do setting spray. I have the Ulta makeup setting spray and you just do one spritz on your face. I'm not gonna do it now because I don't need to. This is pretty much the look. I mean, I'm not really going for full, full coverage. Um, I'm kind of just going for a casual look because that's how Niall rolls pretty much. So I'm gonna go and change to my outfit and I'll be right back. This is the outfit I'm wearing. Um, like I said, super, super casual because that's just how I feel like Nile Horror concerts are. Um, so my shoes, I'll start at the bottom. My shoes are from TJ Maxx, I'm pretty sure. They're just little black booties. My jeans are from TJ Maxx. They're just like tight fit jeggings, capri at the bottom with holes. This sweater is, I think it's actually like Calvin Klein, but I'm pretty sure I also got it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Um, and I'm going to wear it off the shoulder so you can see my bralette. And this is from Aerie. It's in like a, a rusty, sandy color. And yeah, that's going to be my outfit. I mean, it's just going to be super, like I keep saying, super casual. Hopefully I'll be warm enough um, walking around Boston because that's where I'm going. And yeah, this is my outfit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me. If you're going to Niall's concert in Boston, please let me know down below. And I would love, love, love to like run into one of you guys. That would be so fun. If you're going to any of Niall's Flickr sessions, leave me a comment down below saying that you are. And I hope you guys got some inspiration for your concert looks from this video. And if you like more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.